All right, welcome back to the channel. USC football team just arrived in Pullman, Washington for their game, and they're playing tilted backwards. This happened September 17th, 2021. I saw this on the news, and I wanted to see why this stuff happens. So today we're going to break down and figure out why. So you can see here in 2014, if you look closely, this is a Delta. This is a 737 from 2014. The baggage was being unloaded, and the aircraft tilted up in that same way. Um, this causes a lot of problems because now you can get damage to the door. You could have damage to the back of the aircraft by the tail. Um, but I think it's all about balance. So you can see here, this is the actual scene from September 17th. Can you imagine if you were a passenger on this aircraft and you were deboarding and this happened? Could cause quite a scare. And then with this damage here, um, you know, it's going to cause airlines to be delayed. They got to inspect it. And, you know, this phenomenon rarely happens. But when it does, um, it puts aircraft out of service. And if there's one thing I learned about airlines, if that is the planes are on the ground, they aren't making money. These airlines want planes to get on the ground, get passengers off, get passengers on and keep moving. So that there's no delays because once there's one delay, it causes the next aircraft to be delayed. And then it's just all it's it causes everything to back up. So you can tell this was a 737 because they have this elongated dorsal fin. The 737 needed that elongated dorsal fin um, because when they made uh, larger engines, there wasn't enough surface area on the rudders. Um, so this helps with the um, aircraft so that it doesn't stall and it allows it to fly smoother um, being that these 737s are getting longer and longer. So you can see here they're loading the bags on the 737, a lot of weight in the back. So if the football team was deplaning, if they were deplaning to the front without these bags getting emptied at the same time, then you could see how the weight, all this weight back here would cause the aircraft to tilt. And then although this happens often with cargo aircraft, occasionally when there's too much weight, cause you think there's fuel, they have to, they have to calculate all this balance of the food, the passenger weight, and to counterbalance this, they use these tail support assemblies or these tail stands. Um, so you could see it here. So this simple idea, here's a hydraulic one as the plane is getting weighted to the front. This is helping the back. So that's how that works. You could also tie down the front so that if it does tilt for any reason at least you have some tie downs to help it from doing what it did so this is another um, aircraft that crashed but this was this was an actual crash from 2003 this is flight 5481 and this was actually due to too much weight on the back of the aircraft so they they had the average weight at 175 pounds so they thought that the weight of the aircraft was okay based on that average, but the actual average of the passengers were closer to 195. So with that extra weight, it caused, along with some other problems, it caused this plane to crash. So you can see how this, this plane fulcrum, um, the fulcrum is meant to be in the middle. And with the center of gravity close to the landing gear, but with all of the fuel and passengers and cargo and everything added, that center of gravity can shift. And in this case, the passengers caused it to shift too far to the back. So they have these, um, FAA came out with this weight and balance um, kind of booklet requirements for pilots. So you can see here, you know, it talks about the weight balance theory and landing gears and just all kind of the law of levers and fulcrums and so they need to know all of this so that these kind of accidents don't happen but i hope you like this video um, please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time